ਸਤਿ ਸ਼੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਪੀਡੀਸੀ ਨਿਊਜ਼ ਦੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਹਾਂ ਦਵਿੰਦਰ ਔਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਜਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਜੁੜੇ ਹੋਏ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਦੀ ਜਾਂ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੇ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਪਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹਿ ਕੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤੁਹਾਡੀ ਮੁਲਾਕਾਤ ਕਰਵਾਈਏ ਇਹ ਜਾਣਨ ਦੀ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰੀਏ ਕਿ ਉਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਕੀ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਅਗਾਹ ਕੀ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਲੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਇਸੇ ਸਿਲਸਿਲੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਨਾਸੂ ਕਾਉਂਟੀ ਦੇ ਕੰਟਰੋਲਰ ਤੇ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਿਕ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਦੀ ਟਿਕਟ ਤੇ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੜ ਰਹੇ ਕੰਟਰੋਲਰ ਜੋਰਜ ਮਾਰਗੋਸ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਆ ਜੋਰਜ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਮਚ ਫॉर ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਅਸ ਯਰ ਟਾਈਮ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਹੈਵ ਯੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਫॉर ਟੇਕਿੰਗ ਦ ਟਾਈਮ ਐਂਡ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਮਿਸ ਜੋਰਜ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਦੱਸਣ ਕਿ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਇਹ ਹੁਣ ਤੱਕ ਯੋਗਦਾਨ ਪਾ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਇਵੈਂਟਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਾਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੀਆਂ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲਾਵਾ ਹੋਰ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਮਿਸ ਜੋਰਜ ਯੂ ਆਲਰੇਡੀ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਗੁੱਡ ਸਟੈਂਡਸ ਐਂਡ ਨਾਓ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਫਾਈਟ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਫਰਮ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਿਕ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਔਨ ਫਰਮ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨ ਫਰਸਟ ਆਫ ਆਲ ਕੈਨ ਯੂ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਦ ਹੋਲ ਮਾਈਂਡਸੈਟ ਚੇਂਜ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਮੂਵਿੰਗ ਫਰਮ ਰਿਪਬਲਿਕਨਸ ਟੂ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੇਟਸ did it happen all of a sudden or was it over the years that you started uh, thinking different no it was over the years uh, mm-hmm. it took about four the, in the past four years uh-huh. that i started thinking differently mm-hmm. uh, i became uh, one of the top critics of the the current administration yeah. with uh, a number of the waste Mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, uh, fraud allegations, the corruption allegations. Your that, special reports. A, a special reports that have been ad- outspoken. Uh-huh. And I came into government from private industry mm-hmm. wanting to give back to the community, wanting to establish uh, a open and honest government mm-hmm. that, uh, that is uh, solely focused on service to the community. Mm-hmm. And I would not tolerate uh, you know, to- waste, abuse, and and corruption with it within government and that of course put me at odds with the establishment with a lot of the the politicians mm-hmm. on the republican side that run, have run this county for 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 many many years so how much did the current presidential scenario uh, affect your thought process? It, it, it did affect me because actually i knew trump back uh-huh. in the 80s in the mid 80s when i was with chase and mm-hmm. and he was one of the most unscrupulous person that you would ever meet it was all about serving himself uh-huh. and not doing what was right for the for for the the community so for his partners so you were shocked or surprised i was shocked because we we actually although i was not directly involved with uh, with with him i was part of the team mm-hmm. that uh, was forced to refinance him and put him back on on mm-hmm. his feet and as we've been hearing he's been went through a number of back bankruptcies throughout mm-hmm. his 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 career so i had a history with with him and that, that's not an individual that I could I uh, would support mm-hmm. and I think that was a contributing factor as well mm-hmm. to my decision uh to uh, also separate myself from the Republican party because that's not how who I stood for so I stood for you know uh, fiscal responsibility mm-hmm. uh, transparent government and and serving the the, the community which are really used to be the thought process of Republican party but then you think it changed it it changed and that was not is not the case and i was in a position to as nasa county controller mm-hmm. to see what was going in going on from the inside out uh, there's a long list of of things you did ma apne darshakon das dewa ke kuch special reports si gaya jinna de vich bahut important report si gi ho si gi police overtime di mm-hmm. uh, you did a lot of work on police overtime and nasa county and you found out that uh, the cops are being paid a lot but they're not delivering that much they're not delivering and they're continuously overspending uh-huh you know and it's one thing to say i need a uh, hundred million dollars to run the police department well in this case it's closer to a billion dollars uh and but manage to it and and stay within your budget mm-hmm. and not every year year after year go over budget interestingly the whole report found out mm-hmm. that the money that's being spent on police mm-hmm. is just going on overtime nothing on equipment nothing on reforming the area or something right there were a lot of practices that were archaic that needed to be improved and we pointed out that they should come into the modern age adopt best practices mm-hmm. uh spend the money well to provide the best public safety that we could and and it was disheartening that the report was uh, rather than being embraced uh, I, was completely dismissed i have a very interesting question o- mm-hmm. over this issue mr george yes Uh, you have been very strict on auditing every department yes. right and uh, now you're running for office again yes. right your decisions your audit was good in public point of view mm-hmm. but i don't think employees are going to support you after you pull them up so hard so how are you going to fight the election well, without their support well actually the employees do support me because you know they they they're taxpayers too mm-hmm. you know and they don't want the the waste and mismanagement mm-hmm. so it's refreshing uh, to them to hear somebody a public official mm-hmm. stand up 
you know, for, for good government mm -hmm. uh, and efficient government. They want to do their job. They're, they're very conscientious. They're taxpayers, you know, and too often they've been silenced. Mm -hmm. So the feedback that I get is, is uh, very favorable. It very, very so did you have discussions with the employees unions and other people? No, people called me up, you know, and I would say about 70% of the people on both sides. Mm -hmm. The Democrats have been welcoming, which was refreshing, but mm -hmm. about 70% of all the calls, and I've, and I've gotten a lot of calls from Republicans, mm -hmm. that they, they will support me. So that that's very, very favorable, very impressive. All right. I want to talk about another something mm -hmm. that, that, that's very close to you also. Mm -hmm. And that is very Indian community was very beneficial. Mm -hmm. Mr. George always talks about, uh, recently since about six months to one year, I've been hearing him talking about uh, minorities and women-owned businesses and how the county wants to support them, Nassau County. Mm -hmm. uh, can, you, can you tell us how much actual support has been delivered? There, there's been a lot of talk about it. You've been trying to promote it. Yes. But Nassau County itself, has it benefited from this whole project of yours? Well, it has benefited, but we've realized, and I pointed out uh, about three years ago, mm -hmm. that our minority communities now account for over 35% of our total population, mm -hmm. and yet they've been ignored. Mm -hmm. They've been ignored in terms of participation in the police department, in, in, in government. If for if police department, for example, only 10% of the police officers are minorities, yeah. when our population is 35% minorities. And now, and it's the rap, the most rapidly I, I growing. I don't think any, anywhere in New York people are allowed to serve in a turban. You know, exactly, exactly. And, and we, ne we need to have our minorities, you know, Punjabi community, the Indian community, the Hispanic community, the African American community, all our minorities, because they're part of our fabric here. Mm -hmm. They're contributing to their, they represent our small businesses, mm -hmm. you know, and, and yet they're not represented in, in, in government. And we're not, we weren't reaching out to them in terms to invite them to come to government, to uh, offer opportunities to them so that they can better uh, prosper in, in, our, in, our, in, in, in our communities. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I took it upon myself as the controller, having responsibility for approving contracts. So what kind of claims. benefits can they drive out of your projects, especially the minority business uh, promotion projects? Well, we, we want them to to participate in public works projects. Mm -hmm. We want them to you know to participate as accountants, as you know as uh, architects, mm -hmm. you know as doctors. We have the medical center. We have medical needs in in, in the jail. That was an, an audit that came out that we have to do a better job in providing medical care for our inmates. You know, and the Nassau County had an aspirational goal of, of setting aside 16% of all expenditures mm -hmm. towards minorities, and we never paid attention to it. That's very important for, for public awareness also. We remember that Nassau County the total budget is 16% of minority businesses. Mm -hmm. Mr. George has been working on that, but still, uh, people need to remember that you have a place and you have a chance in Nassau County to work and get support from government. Only if you go and talk to the government and government is ready to talk to you. But this, this is one particular question I want to concentrate now on. Ms. George is asking for your votes. They jadon ye vote thwar to land ja rahe ne ta ek issue jadaya which is uh, one issue. It's the issue of uh, taxes which is related especially to Nassau County. People go to Queens, they pay a house tax of one to four thousand over the year. In Suffolk, it's the same. But Nassau County charges minimum seven thousand, goes up to twenty thousand. Now, I, I have seen you uh, giving your vision first of minority and uh, women-owned businesses. Then you want to make Nassau County into a health and wellness center of the world. Right. I'll talk about that thing later. Okay. But first, I want to know, how do you expect this county to grow strong when taxes are so high and people won't be able to live here? Well, you're absolutely right. The cost of living and especially taxes are very high here. And as I pointed out uh, on through audits, mm -hmm. and also when I announced my party switch, that mm -hmm. our, our assessment system is broken, mm -hmm. it, and it's costing the taxpayers over a hundred million dollars a year, and oh. it's unfair. And mm -hmm. it's unfair because you know when we allow people to grieve, you know, and forty percent grieve, and there's patronage involved, mm -hmm. it biases that the assessment for all the people, sixty percent of the people that, that they don't grieve, mm -hmm. and they pay higher taxes than they need to. Whether it's school taxes, whether it's uh, municipal taxes, county taxes. taxes, and that's that's unfair. And we pointed out a number of occasions that our tax system is unfair and it's biased, mm -hmm. and it needs to be fixed. 
Okay. And that's one of the, the principles that I've announced that I, I would be running on to make it fair, to make it, which means reducing property taxes for those people that are dealt unfairly. Can, can, you, give, can you give a concrete uh, figure? How much do you want to reduce? Before I take a break, I want to hear from right. you. How much do you promise to reduce for Nassau County? Uh, how much taxes would go down, especially the land taxes and property taxes? Well, if, if for the people that are dealt unfair, the 60% of the people, we estimated that they should go down between 10 and 15% mm -hmm. of what they are now. And of course, then, if we make government more, more efficient, then the, the property taxes should go down as well. But, and our responsibility doesn't stop there. You know, it, similar to New York City, we have here our school districts that the county has no responsibility, mm -hmm. but as leaders, we need to, uh, to advocate for change in the school system. We want quality education, but we don't need 56 superintendents with, mm -hmm. with assistant superintendent. New, Nassau County has about 1.4 million people. So there's a surprising excess of manpower. Right, excess uh, of bureaucracy, let's oh. call it that. Uh, and we have 56 school districts, as opposed to New York City that ha has 8 million people and they have one chancellor. Mm -hmm. We have 1.4 million people and we have 56 chancellors. Mm -hmm. That doesn't, with their bureaucracy, that doesn't make any sense. But it's top heavy. Uh, absolutely. So we need to fight and, and, and work with our state representatives mm -hmm. to go to Albany and take responsibility for our school system and organize it, make it more efficient. And we've estimated furthermore, if we can do that, that would reduce school taxes by about 20 to 25 percent, mm -hmm. you know, of what we're paying now. That's huge because 70 percent of Nassau County homeowners tax bill goes towards the schools. So okay. 20, 25 percent, it's a big savings. Yeah, so that's, that's a huge expense if you're talking about especially mm -hmm. saving the uh, money for schools and land taxes and property taxes if he's able to do it in future. Along with this, he has a vision of making Nassau County, as I said earlier, a health and wellness center of the world, which is a very tough challenge to achieve. So we'll talk about that. We'll take a little break. A little break to bad. Vapas eti mildeya. Nassau County controller or home democratic seat de davedar. George Margos sir nal mojood man. ब्रेक तो बाद ਸਾਡੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਦਾ ਫੇਰ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅਸੀਂ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਜੋਰਜ ਮਾਰਗੋਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹਾਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕਿ ਨਾਸਾ ਕਾਉਂਟੀ ਦੇ ਕੰਟਰੋਲਰ ਜਨਰਲ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਹੁਣ ਡੈਮੋਕ੍ਰੈਟਿਕ ਸੀਟ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਦਾਅਵੇਦਾਰ ਨੇ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਲੜਨ ਦੇ ਔਰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਕਲੋਜ਼ ਰਿਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੰਮਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਖਾਸ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਮਾਈਨੋਰਿਟੀ ਬਿਜ਼ਨੈਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਔਰਤਾਂ ਦੇ ਔਨ ਬਿਜ਼ਨੈਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਹੈਲਪ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਲਗਾਤਾਰ ਪੰਜਾਬੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਹਰ ਸਟੇਜ ਹਰ ਪਲੇਟਫਾਰਮ ਤੇ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਕੋਸ਼ਿਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਕਿ ਜਿੰਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਇੰਟਰੈਕਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਦੇ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਮਿਹਨਤ ਕਰ ਸਕਣ ਉਹ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਅਗਾਂ ਕੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਔਰ ਅਗਾਂ ਕੀ ਕੁਝ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਹੋ ਸਕਦਾ ਇਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਹਾਂ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਜੋਰਜ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਬ੍ਰੋਟ ਆਊਟ ਅ ਰਿਪੋਰਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਪਾਰਕਿੰਗ ਟਿਕਟਸ now as uh, punjabi community uh, is involved in taxi business also trucking business also they are among the biggest sufferers and on the other side the county was unable to cash those tickets so what do you think is happening there well a again this is where government is very inefficient mm -hmm. you know we've been issuing about 100 i don't know close to half, half a million dollars in tickets every every, every year mm -hmm. and yet we failed to collect about 120 million of those. Oh. So, because we don't have very effective collection practices, uh -huh. we don't go after people. Uh -huh. and, we, and we should, because everybody else, the law-abiding citizens, mm -hmm. you know, pay those tickets. People that, like taxi drivers that need to drive a taxi to, because that's- They end up paying all the time. That's how they earn their, their, their living. Mm -hmm. And now we have, we're faced with a situation because we're inefficient in collecting. Now the, the county executive has proposed increasing the fees from about $100, the tickets to $200. Oh. To make it even more punitive. That's shocking, and, and making difficult. the tickets double the fine right now. Right, exactly. That's the proposal in front of the legislature for the budget ne next Do year. Do you support it? No, Obviously I don't. don't. I, of course I don't. I said, you know, that's why we have to make government more efficient mm -hmm. so that we don't have to turn, you know, to people continuously and ask Squeeze them to pay more, more and more. Whether it's property taxes, whether uh -huh. it's fees and fines, or whether it's mortgage, to register their mortgages when they buy a, a house, mm -hmm. we cannot continue to penalize people because of the inefficiencies in, in government. In government. Uh, we have heard that Greenacre Mall project has been given a lot of rebates uh, from the county. 
uh, which is way more who, than sorry, Greenacre Mall area. Right, yes. And uh, people have been saying that same kind of rebates are not available to everyone else. What do you have to say about it? Well, I, I've been an outspoken critic for um, of the, uh, the Industrial Development Agency, mm -hmm. both of Nassau County mm -hmm. and of the, uh, the Hempstead, and all IDAs, because mm -hmm. they, they um, and, and I think I highlighted that the Nassau County IDA, by the tax abatements that they give, um, create half as many jobs as Nass Suffolk County, for example, or the city, mm. at 10 times the cost. Mm -hmm. You know, and ultimately, because you know, they're not doing a, a good enough job, they're just handing out free tax abatements uh -huh. to the detriment of the, the community because the, the homeowners are gonna have to pick up that, that cost. Mm -hmm. So what they've done in, in Valley Stream, you know, it, uh, I guess highlights the issue and the criticism that, uh, that, that I've had, mm -hmm. that they're out of control, mm -hmm. they don't take into consideration the impact do you expect an investigation in the whole issue? No, you, you can. You, you, we can. We can go and audit, but that's after the fact. Once they sign, enter into those agreements, mm -hmm. into those so-called pilot agreements, there's no way out. There is no way out. And unfortunately, the taxpayers, you know, have to in the community mm -hmm. now are going to see their tax bills go up. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, so whether a you go and shop at those malls or not, doesn't right. matter. It, it, You're it, going to pay for them. It doesn't matter now. The only way is to to put people in government that understand the issues. That, uh, that can implement effective government mm -hmm. and, and hold those ideas, appoint people on those IDA boards that are going to be accountable to the, to, to the people and mm -hmm. will not be handing out tax abatements to their friends. That's what's going on. All right. Uh, now, uh, there is a social issue because mm -hmm. we are going to, uh, you are going to uh, everyone to ask for their vote. Mm -hmm. I have seen a little change in your thought process about gay community. Earlier you were I think against it, and now there is a little change in your thought process. How did that happen? Well, uh, the LGBT community, the, the gay marriage issue, it's passed. It's the law of the land. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we all had some preferences or the way we were brought up, but now we have to accept that our society has changed. So, and, so your and, acceptance is based on the law or social acceptance? You know, in both. Now, the, 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 that issue has been resolved. Why are we fighting over it? Mm -hmm. Why aren't we inclusive? Mm -hmm. You know, and have everybody have equal rights. I mean, that's where we're, we're coming from. Mm -hmm. So, yes, when I was younger, I felt differently when I was growing up. But now it's, you know, society has changed. So let's embrace it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and be welcoming to So that, to that, all, that makes you minorities. more of a Democrat instead of Republican. Is it? Absolutely. I mean, there's nothing wrong with us, you know, wanting to live together mm -hmm. in, in harmony with our community and, and be inclusive. Why should we be segregating people and um, discriminating against uh, people? Mm -hmm. I think as a society, we've gone beyond that. And, and that's why I've changed. All right. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the same thing applies to minorities, right? Punjabis, yes. uh, turbans. Why should we be looking at people for how they look and their national origin mm -hmm. and not be welcoming? They're all American citizens. Now, let, let me get back to the turban okay. again. That's mm -hmm. what I wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, there are about 150 plus police officers in NYPD itself mm -hmm. who are sick officers, mm -hmm. but they either have to shave or they have to keep a beard to one millimeter. Mm -hmm. They're not allowed to wear a turban. Whereas the faith says that they have to walk everywhere in their life. They have to be in their full beard, full mustaches right. and turbans. And I've, I've talked to uh, the commissioner, uh, James O'Neill also. Mm -hmm. He said we are still thinking about it and we are discussing it. Do you think you as a political personality, a person involved with the community can contribute something in that? I mean, people want to serve. Punjabis want to serve in forces, mm -hmm. but they want to serve with their full beard and turbans. Yeah, I, I think we should be welcoming. I think in Nassau County, we don't have any police officers that wear turbans, right? Yeah. I don't think we have any, zero. Th there's no one in whole okay, NYPD. You know, exactly. And yet, you know, the Punjabi community is a thriving member of our, of our community. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't they be allowed to participate? You know, and, and why shouldn't we accommodate uh, people for what they are? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and who they want to serve? Because so, they, they, so what are you going to do about it? So I think I, I will in, increase minority participation in our community mm -hmm. to reflect our community. You know, we have to set professional standards, mm -hmm. but I don't think you know, the, any community would be against that. Uh, no one is. All right. Okay. Let's, let's talk about uh, your vision of mm -hmm. making Nassau County stronger, mm -hmm. bigger, economically more, uh, I mean, better than other counties. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, you brought out a vision of making this county 
as the world level wellness and health center right what do you think you're going to do about it it's it's a very tough challenge india is a tourist hub for americans and canadians going to get the treatments because it's very cheap do right. you think the whole expense thing again is going to allow you or anyone to do it for nasa county oh absolutely absolutely i, I want to remind you know your viewers that in the 60s and 70s nasa county was the defense capital. This is where all the defense industry was. And you were involved in that? Y yes. You were in service? Absolutely. Uh, the module that landed the man on the moon was developed <coughs> right here in Nassau County with, mm -hmm. with Grumman. We were the aerospace center of the industry. Mm -hmm. We do not, today, we do not have an economic identity. Mm -hmm. We're a, 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 a small collection of little industries, little mm -hmm. uh, family bu businesses. Mm -hmm. So we, we need to reinvent ourselves. You know, mm -hmm. and, and healthcare is our biggest industry. Mm -hmm. And people go to get their, their, their treatments where they're gonna, they have their best doctors, the best facilities. They don't, I'm sure you don't want the cheapest doctor as you don't want the cheapest attorney to I'm treat you. I'm not saying you. India gives you cheapest doctors. <laughs> okay. It gives you best treatment okay. at a cheap cost. We need to become the world's best. Uh -huh. and, and this is, we want people to get, you know, come here. We want to become world renowned mm -hmm. for the healthcare. The, uh, and we want people to come here and create But then industries. once again, uh, going, right. going on the other aspect of your vision, mm -hmm. how does uh, the whole insurance cost relates to this vision? America itself is very expensive for getting a treatment. Mm -hmm. And Obamacare tried to solve that issue, but now when the Republican Party wants to scrap it and your present party wants to promote it, although by improving it, what do you think is going to happen if things don't work out? the way uh, President Obama wanted. Well, let me give you an example, though, that I see. You know, I, I'm, I'm Greek. My background is Greek. Mm -hmm. I, I have, uh, we have a summer home in Greece. Mm -hmm. I go there and for, you know, a tube of uh, uh, ointment, uh, you know, antibiotic ointment, that here I, I was shocked because I, I, uh, I went, I got a prescription here. I, my copay was $25 mm -hmm. and the insurance company was charged $1,000 for that ointment. Right. Okay. I went with the same, the same sample of the ointment, same manufacturer, same brand in Greece, and I paid three and a half euros. What it cost here, the insurance company was no billed, copay, no, no copay, insurance, $1,000. Okay. That ultimately you and I pay through, the, through our insurance co coverage. We're supposed to be an open market, a free market here. Mm -hmm. Why shouldn't we allow, you know, have the pharmaceutical industries protected? Mm -hmm. If you want to reform medical care and bring down the cost, open up the market, mm -hmm. have a free market. Why do people go to Canada to get their prescriptions? To Cuba. Or to Cuba or to, or, or to India. Mm -hmm. if, if we have, you know, an open competitive market here and the best treatments, the, the best innovation this is where people are going to come mm -hmm. and it's going to be less expensive and it's going to be much better and we want to set we want to become the model right here in nasa county mm -hmm. so you think your vision it's vision of one person although a strong leader can transfer to capital to washington dc uh, oh absolutely leadership is always important mm -hmm. and if we become the model here then I'm sure every other county and state is going to replicate it. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, well, now we're coming close to the interview, mm -hmm. to the close of the interview. Uh, Mr. George, I would like to give you two minutes to talk to our audience and let them know how you want to invite Indian community, especially Punjabis, to Nasa County. Well, you know, the, our South Asian community is, is the fastest growing community. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it's now the third largest community, minority community in Nasa County much approaching our african-american community approaching our our hispanic community but the difference is with the punjabi community and the indian community is that our residents here are very successful and very well educated and we need to draw upon that talent you know to to make nasa county which is one of the wealthiest counties. this is where families come that are successful from queens or new york city to raise their families to educate our kids but we're not including them in, a, in political life. Mm -hmm. We're not giving them the opportunities to, to prosper and become better contributors to our communities. And I want to I want to do that. Open up opportunities for them, uh, support them, drop on their talents and expertise to make Nasa County much better. And the way to do that is giving them the opportunities, involve them in government, involve, involve them in the police department, 
and, and in the future vision that we need, ha we need to build for Nassau County, they, they need to be the bedrock, the foundation for us to build that new economy that's going to provide better paying opportunities, more exciting opportunities for our young people and our young families. Well, Mr. George, thank you so much. And uh, he, has, he has given a lot of promises also in the interview, although he's given a lot of information also. So we'll, we'll be there to keep a watch over those promises also. And, I expect uh, you to. Uh, my wishes to you thank, for your thank you very, very good future, uh, for your election also. And thanks again for your time. Thank you for being thank here. So thank you so much. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time.